that leading you in terms of like Over the last 10 years, the Oxbow School has sent 600 alumni out into the world. Our earliest graduates now are starting their professional lives, many of them taking paths in the arts, but many more of them, in fact, going into technical careers, from science to public policy. But I'm most amazed that almost all of them say, I think about Oxbow every day. And what I've seen is that they're achieving things that they would not have thought of before Oxbow. They're able to see new possibilities to then pursue whatever they want to do in their lives. That empowerment is just pretty remarkable. Oxbow for me really was life changing. I come from a background or a family with little or no formal education. I was raised in East Los Angeles, so going there was completely different. I was fortunate enough to have a scholarship. Through my stay at Oxbow, I found that um, I was continually bringing my fascination with, with the human body and the sciences um, into my art making. At the end of my Oxbow experience, I realized that I was prepared to wholeheartedly commit myself to the art of medicine. That was a big deal for me because before going there, I didn't know how I was going to do it, and Oxbow provided me with that answer. I attended UC Davis, where I obtained a degree in microbiology. I will be starting medical school this fall. Through Oxbow, I found out that's what I wanted to do. I would say Oxbow definitely prepared me. Hey, Howard. Going to Oxbow, I didn't really expect to become an artist, and I knew I was going to go to college and probably be an academic, study political science or engineering. All right, thanks, Ben. And I was pleasantly surprised when I got to Oxbow to find that the academic program was not just rigorous, but more enjoyable than, uh, than anything I had experienced before. I had an opportunity to engage for the first time in real serious research. I now work for the Concord Coalition. We do grassroots education about the long-term challenges facing our economy. I got here through my skills in web development, which got sparked at Oxbow. It was through the new media program that they had at Oxbow that got me started in the first place and being able to apply the artistic process that they taught us there to political messaging, you name it. Everything that I do here at work has in some way stemmed from my original experience at Oxbow. Ever since I was a kid I was really into art but then my parents didn't have any money put away for college so I was planning on going into the Navy actually after high school. After going to Oxbow I realized that I really wanted to keep doing the same kind of work. If I flip it around so the light's coming the other way across the top. A bit more, if we can get a bit more of it. So I applied to the Savannah College of Art and Design, got in and got a scholarship and then I just finished a five-year master's program. I studied architecture there and furniture design and that's what I want to do. I also do art in my spare time. Oxbow definitely opened up a lot of doors. I had a very non-traditional education. I didn't go to high school. I was homeschooled. Oxbow it was kind of my first time of being in classes and I was really, really shy before I went. It was the first time in my life where I was sort of transplanted into a new environment and I kind of got to reinvent who I was in that environment and I found that like I really wasn't a shy person at all. I was very interested in the arts and I was intending to be an artist full time. And then when I was at Oxbow, like, that's the first time that I remember getting interested in science and medicine. I think that led to a lot of thinking about what am I really interested in. I just kind of figured out that I wanted to interact with people more and I wanted to do something that just used a different part of my brain. I still do art all the time and I still use it all the time. Just in studying medicine, half of the time I'm drawing anatomy. I don't think they're two separate things. When I was at Oxbow, more than any other time in my life it was all brought together. Oxbow was just really an environment where you could think freely about what your interests were. When I went to Oxbow, I just really needed to leave my high school. I felt that it was stifling, and I really just hid in the art room. 
going to Oxbow, you have space to define yourself. So after I finished Oxbow, I got a BFA. I went to Cooper Union. It's an art school in Manhattan. And that was an outcome of going to Oxbow because I had a portfolio that was good enough to get into Cooper Union. And I think that Oxbow helped me of just following interests, realizing that I can be self-directed and make things happen. I'm a project-based artist. I'm really interested in participation in public space. So things that act as platforms for a new experience or finding a way to attach to a structure that exists. For example, I made a swing for the subway, which is just a backpack with straps that elongate so you can wrap them around the handrail. I'm really interested in figuring out ways to engage people in the work so that it's not something abstract on the wall that is supposedly a moment for contemplation outside of the world. Everything's functional, like this desk I made, which has scaffolding, but it also has a bookshelf and desk set up on it. Every time I start thinking about making a new piece, I don't approach it from one materially specific tradition. I approach it conceptually. I think I've stayed on Oxbow's edge between lots of disciplines. The thing I'm most proud of is that the curricular model really works. And what we've seen is that the student success post-Oxbow might be based in the fact that they were introduced to a broader world at an earlier age. So knowing that there is a world out there that you can access and knowing how to access the different sorts of resources, I think those are the kind of life skills that Oxbow really delivers on.